Now you know I don't act that way over here. Oh, see, we're already we're live, live. Too late. Too late. We're live now. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so John here, what if I could? Uh, scroll saw portrait design woodworks and everything else included. Uh, just doing some more continuing on my cuttings of uh, uh, name initials. This is G for Garrett, my grandson. I'll be doing right. a couple more. Doing a couple more as well. Uh, these are out of uh, three quarter inch pine. Ooh, three quarter inch pine. And uh, tonight I'll be doing the names that are going inside of them as well. They're uh, quarter inch green poplar. And uh, I'll be cutting those. And uh, joining us on the panel right now, we got uh, Mr. Russ Meadows and uh, Mr. Herb Hooper. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, folks. Hi, guys. <laughs> Oh, you told me to say hi, guys. <laughs> I'm just following the director's orders. <laughs> so who all we got? There? We got Steve and Pat and Steve and Pat. Steve and Steve. That's it. All right. So hopefully we're going to get a bigger group. Doesn't matter. You guys do your own thing anyway. And I'm only on, <laughs> I'm only, I'm only on YouTube, so I don't have any major chats going on anywhere else. But uh, any questions, comments, whatever, ask us. Ask the panel. If we don't know the answer, we'll find them for you. I've got a question for you myself. Sure. I see those, those uh, what you're cutting tonight, those monograms. Yep. Uh, have you ever cut them in uh, PVC? Have you ever cut that material? I've, I've seen a lot of people starting to go to that for outside use. And I was curious that if you had, uh, being a sign guy, had you ever cut the PVC? PVC? Uh, yeah, acrylic. flat sheet. Flat like sheet PVC. A, a, you know what? I don't think I've ever seen. Well, no, I can't say I can't say I use flat sheet PVC. Uh, flat sheet styrene, uh, flat sheet puck board, which is like a Lexan, uh, flat sheet acrylic, and gator foam. Uh, Gator foam and die and a dye bond are, are basically like a mm -hmm. uh, big uh, dye bond or, or a Luca bond. Basically, has mm -hmm. aluminum uh, uh, one sixteenth aluminum front and back, and yeah. it, it compresses uh, uh, plastic core. Mm -hmm. It's really good outdoor durable stuff. Same with uh, Gator foam. Uh, it, it's it's more of a high density foam. We just pack between layers of uh, styrene, which is like. Okay. Uh, uh, it, it's almost like a masonite front and back yeah. on it. Uh, it's more it's more commercial use though. Um, I so uh, flat stock PVC. I don't think I've ever seen any of that. Harbor, not Harbor Freight. Uh, Home Depot. Some Home Depots will carry it. Uh, I haven't. I think some some Lowe's carry it as well. I haven't cut any of it because you need uh, one of those uh, 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 the bits for the cut plastic with it, and I don't have one right now. But uh, I've seen a lot of people on the groups that uh, are starting to use that and then painting it and uh, putting it uh, outside for, for outside external use. Yes, yes. Uh, PVC full boards. Yeah. I think I just Google it. That's, that's basically all I can see. Yeah, I know that uh, I've, I've seen them uh, answering questions about it, and that uh, uh, a lot of them say that they get it from Home Depot, but not all white, Home Depots carry white, it. Yeah, a white PVC, a white PVC sheet, half inch, four by eight. I've seen it in half inch, and I've seen it in, in quarter inch. But I was just curious, has anybody in the chat uh, used it? Here's your mic, Jim says, hello, everybody. Hey, Hi, Mike. Uh, Mike. I was just curious, uh, being a sign guy, that you might have seen something like that. Yes, he did. They don't even sell the at the Canadian stores. It was only an American thing. Um, okay. Like I said, the closest thing I can see to it would be would, would be styrene, but okay. that's about it. Okay. Or 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 like puckboard, but that's that's really expensive though. 
Yeah, no, we don't ain't looking for expensive. <laughs> We're looking for cheap. Well, we celebrate. We we buy it cheap, but we celebrate expensive. <laughs> <though. laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure there's something like that around, but I I I, I personally have not caught on it though. But uh, my my outdoor stuff basically uh, cedar. I basically yeah. just cut cut my outdoor stuff in cedar. Right. Oh, hey Mervin, how's it going? Hello, Merv. Uh, who's your mic? Is a regular blade would would melt it, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. This is he, it, it'd be it, it'd be the same as, as cutting a, a vinyl record or or, or, or uh, acrylic sheet. You just go low, low, low speed. Yeah, yeah. They, they use a, a specific type of blade uh, or a bit for it, and it's got it's an old flute. It's really used just for plastics. Yeah, see, Mervyn, uh, uh, I was thinking citrus panel, too. I don't know if it's called that or not. I haven't seen that name. Well, that'd be like uh, like, like the, the brand name of it, though, right? Yeah. You know, Wes, oh, Wes, Wes, Wes might be the one to talk to, you know, working at Ace Hardware and all. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> Can't get a hold of Wes nowadays. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, he's always busy with that woman is. <laughs> he was out for a little a little bit last night. Yeah, but she showed up. Yeah. Now you see, <laughs> on one of the on one of the shows we were doing before she came into his life, I told him, "Hell, I might just pop up over there at your place one day." He said, "Hell, come on! I've got three rooms. Stay as long as you want." And uh, I said, "Now nah, it wouldn't be worth it worth it for me going down there just." Uh, Knocking on the door unannounced because you never know what I might run into. Wouldn't be able to get in the front door with her there, probably. Mr. Greg. Oh, wait, we don't know you. Holy cow. I haven't seen you in forever, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Probably, well, I, uh, I don't know. He, he, he might have his bike away by now, but he's probably still got it out run, run, running around the roads in Manitoba. Yeah. Getting a little cold, I'll tell you that. But you put them leathers on, it'll be all right. See, I you know, installed me a light brush where I could see behind me. <laughs> <laughs> if I start hearing hot dog, I'm. <laughs> you did that the other night. You started yelling hot dog, hot dog, and it scared the shit out of me. I jumped and looked at that camera right down there, and the hell, I didn't have nobody. I couldn't see nothing. wasn't on the show. I'm the one that got hit. I was in the friggin' chair. I wasn't on the show. I got so used to looking at that spot on the camera. And I, I looked down there and I didn't see nothing. I wasn't on the show no more. So I had to turn around. Oh, Lord. Just right on there. Yeah, I called it right. Keep you towing in here. That was <laughs> 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 no Mike. catch up for that order. <laughs> Mike, says, Mike uh, uh, I, I took a drink of moonshine one time in my life from uh, Sterling Davis, and that, that that broke me. I'll never do it again. You might as well just drink paint thinner, right? <laughs> oh, God, that was so <laughs> I'll, I'll put it to you this way. A little one-ounce glass. I had to sit down before I even started drinking it because I knew I wasn't going to be able to take it. So I drank half of that one-ounce glass, and it, it warmed me from my nose to my nose. <laughs> and isn't it a glass a shot? Yeah. Well, it was it was just a small thing, and and uh, it's only about that that gum big. Hey, can you see that? Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's about that big, right? <laughs> yeah, about that big. Uh, don't talk to my wife about that. <laughs> but uh, I sat down, and and about five or six minutes later, I uh, I drank the other half, and the other half curled my eyes in the back of my head and I told him I said never again buddy wow. <laughs> never again I'm not a drinker in the first place and uh, I did that because it was a one time deal a special you know a special occasion and down in uh, Atlanta and uh, I won't do it no more I've, I've told him ever since don't even bother off of me that crap I can't take that oh that's too much well, Mike, it was flavored. It was uh, peppermint schnapps, but it was more alcohol than schnapps. Let me put it that way. It was more schnobby than peppermint. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Greg says he's gonna get out for a ride on Tuesday at the snow melts. Well, I know it's supposed to get like plus 12 here tomorrow. Woo! And uh, I know next next week's supposed to be pretty decent too. Because we got all the Chinook weather coming through. It's just unbelievable now. So, uh, what do we got? Oh yeah, 12, 14, 14 on Monday, 9 on Tuesday. Just freaking oh, snow like today. Oh, that's not that's, that's not Fahrenheit. <laughs> no, it's Celsius. <laughs> All right, all right. For for all for all yeah yeah down southerner guys that are down there. <laughs> so uh, let's see, fourteen. It's fifty-seven Fahrenheit. Ooh. So fifty-seven. Yeah, it's pretty decent bike riding weather. Yeah, it's good bike riding with you got your leathers on. That's good weather. You know, if I had asked the chaps to be wearing them right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything, hey, look what I'm doing today. <laughs> I've already seen that one time, all right? No one's getting no more. <laughs> hey, Hello, Larry, Mark. how's it going? Hello, Larry. Mike said he used to be at Lush during back then, back in the day, huh? <laughs> I never was. All right, so, uh, hey, it's John's show. Yeah, look at that. We're, we're, we're 11 minutes in the show already. I haven't done anything yet. You sound like Charles. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't even have her content. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Russ, were, were you listening last night when I was, I was telling Charles I was going to I was gonna run a contest for free patterns? And no. uh, I, I was going to send him Charles' link oh. so that they have to get their free patterns. <laughs> yeah, oh, I did hear that. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Oh. <laughs> Five free patterns are your choice. Uh, well, I still got to pick up my five patterns. So, you know, hey, I, I can give away five patterns. <laughs> I still got five coming to me. Josh Grover just joined us. Hey, everyone. And uh, Steve and uh, did I win? <laughs> We're all winners on John's show. <laughs> Hello, Josh. Is that too loud? Yes, yeah, loud. Uh, you hear her, yeah. She's getting rid of the eye candy, though. <laughs> All right, we'll go down here then. What my yeah. camera? That's huge. Carry on in the chat. Do what you guys want to do. Get rid of hot dog. Oh, don't start that. I would look straight at that camera. No. <laughs> Oh, no, she actually come up and tap me on the back of the neck. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted any more soup. You said hot dog. I looked up and I seen her right there. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> look out, her. <laughs> well, I can't help you, her. I can't see her. Yeah, that's right. L Larry got a free pattern from you already. Lucky guy. Uh, Probably the one and only free pattern I'll ever give away. <laughs> so I'm gonna make make some noise here. Well, I drill some holes because I don't do pilot holes. It counts. You know what? I think I'm gonna try those uh, sawbird blades again that I was given a couple weeks ago. Well, it's about a month now. My gasket uh, just rolled in half inch. What's that? My gasket just rolled in half inch. Uh, no, I, I, I'm doing, uh, right now I'm going to, I'm prepping up to do quarter inch green poplar right now. Mm. The cat and the fish crafting tent says, hello guys. Hello Donna. Cat well, which is it, Donna or Eva? Oh, it's Eva, I'm sorry. Okay, because that's a new one on me. It's like I was gonna have a uh, a, pilot, uh, a pilot hole contest the other day when I was doing my other pattern, and uh, I said if you guys listen closely, you can count how many how many pilot holes I do. Then I'll ask you how many I did. And I actually only I, I only needed five pilot holes, but I drilled eight just in case. <laughs> in case <laughs> you always, lost one. <laughs> it's always nice to have more. <laughs> I bet you didn't miss none either, did you? No, I didn't. Got them all. 
Yeah, see, here's one. Here's one for you. So, <coughs> here's a, there's a pile of hole right there that I didn't even do. Oh. Go all the way and start another one. Yeah, I'll do that. Eva asked, uh, so who are these guys then? Do you know who I am? <laughs> he doesn't know me. Can't you show you Al again? You know He's asking, is someone out in the wind? That's, uh, that's her. No, that's John. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Talking about boots. A boot is what you wear on your feet. No, those are galoshes. Ah, that's if they're rubber. No, those are, those, those are rubbers. What? <laughs> you wear rubbers on your feet. Is that where you put them? How does that work? <laughs> what do you mean, how does that work? <laughs> oh, I know we <laughs> <laughs> All right, family friendly. You guys are bad. Family friendly. This isn't Charles' show. <laughs> we let it all go here. Yeah, back in right. the words of my generation, let it all hang out. Five holes already. <clears throat> all right. Now, like I said, I'm going to try sawbird blades that again that I got. So these are oh oh ones apparently. And they're silver, so they're fancy. And that's a sad stuff right there. I'm out of tea. Oh no. Here yeah, you wanna if you'll put your big screen you can look at mine. <laughs> you guys ever you guys ever cut with any of the sawbird blades from uh have not never even heard of heard of him. I have heard of him. Uh, Gar I've never Garner heard Hall. He's uh, out of uh, I've heard John say um, say something about him before. He's out of Esteban, Manitoba. I know Greg's been down there a couple times. <laughs> Riding his bike. Josh is asking John, can you count that high for the pilot hole? Four. It's not I that can, many. <laughs> I can count the four. Uno, oh, dos, no, tres, cuatro. Let's stop right there. <laughs> this is Canada. He speaks, he speaks French. It's French in Canada, yeah. And the oh, no. cats. And the trois cats. Let's see. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn my, turn my, uh, burn ace off here. Sound better? That's a lot better. folks. No static in the background now? <laughs> Let's see how good it works. Josh, uh, John's not going to get cold. You see how many uh, pairs of clothes he's got on. He's in layers. Oh, he's got layers. <laughs> no, you got to wear layers in the summertime up there, don't you? I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna bitch and moan like Charles. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> I tell you how cold it was out here. <laughs> He even says, oh, it's okay, you can have the fan on, it's all right, as long as you don't go with the heavy breathing. Well, we'll see, I know I got uh, I got two pairs of long johns on, I got three pairs of socks on, 
I got turtleneck, long, long sleeve t-shirt, on a denim shirt. This, but this is my normal work clothes though. Because I was working outside. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. You still have to work. It's so much fun when you don't have to work anymore. That black tingling blows off the sawdust, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. It blows off. <coughs> That's a debatable question. I'm not sure. By the time you get good and comfortable in here, she'll come home. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. That's when you start yelling, hot dog, hot dog. Most Whatever. of us will be ducking. <laughs> What, ha what happens when it's like, salami, salami? <laughs> I ain't been on here, that's for sure. <laughs> well, if she starts asking for salami, I'm not going to be on the show much longer. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I won't be here. <laughs> She'll be asking for some kibasa. Yeah. Oh, oh. It looks to me like he was trying to make Doug wear his red. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Hello, Lenny. Lenny Hello, Lenny. <laughs> if he wears a dress, we'll put him on camera. Who? Cool. What are you talking about? <laughs> Pole Barn just uh, showed up a while back, and uh, Eva was asking him about wearing a dress, and he said he has one on now. It's too bad you can't see it. <laughs> Turn the camera on. We have ways of turning that camera on. Yeah, he was asking, <laughs> is, uh, is this the herb I know? Yes, ma'am, it is. Unfortunately... <laughs> John Nathan says hello everyone. Hello, John. Hey, I'm getting all the I'm getting all the big name guys tonight, eh? Oh, oh there. I'm thinking it's because of my piano. <laughs> Must be. No, I L O L crowd calling. Yeah, that's the whole L O L crowd. Herb, and I was trying to make rescue look even special. Yeah, he tried to, he took my thunder, that's all right. Yeah, even you never know where I'm gonna pop up at. <laughs> oh, Josh says, Look at this, John's getting more people in his camp than Charles. Uh oh, don't do, don't say that. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't say that. What what is John post about uh on, on the lives on Facebook, uh Eva? What does Herb say? I didn't say nothing. 
I wonder if you the guys heard post about on uh, uh, lives on Facebook now and then. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's always talking about me. Poppy's asking me if it's cold in Texas. It's not cold where I'm at. It's on it's about 63. Yeah, actually I had the windows open today. Yeah, uh, uh, Eva, uh, he posts and promotes uh, whatever show he's on. <laughs> he'll promote Charles, he's showing, he'll promote this, and he'll promote all of them. He's good about that. If I would have done it, but I, you know, somebody made me get on right away. Yeah, 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 you know, that was me. I was dying to get on something. Well, I had an opportunity. Well, Russ, I don't know why you just didn't go anywhere yourself. Huh? You just didn't go yourself. Hey, welcome to the Russ chat show. The truth is not home, so we're going to do whatever I want. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I don't mind being behind the camera, but I don't want to be the star of the show. Okay. Got to have a little personality. Well, good. If I ever try to do a show, you can come be my ear warm. <laughs> well, if you if you do a show and, and I got the that's the wherewithal, I'll I'll be there. Yeah, I'm gonna get out there eventually. I just gotta wait. Gotta, some of this stuff comes in where I can put it up outside. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what it's gonna look well, how it's gonna work, you know. These are pretty small letters. These are only uh, two, 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 inch and three quarter high. Uh, they're bigger than mine. I used to build them. Huh? What's going on out there? I see Canada. I see Michigan. I think they're pretty much talking amongst themselves. Stacy makes. Stace makes. Stacey Who's that? Uh, she's a Turner. I haven't seen her in a long time. Okay, I've, that's another new name for me. Yeah, she's uh, over in the, over the pond there too. We like her. Hello, I'll quit multitasking and pay attention. <laughs> uh oh. Hello? Hello? That's my alarm for when I was going to come out and start doing my show. <laughs> I was going to come out and get ready to start doing it. Oh, no. Look at that. It's a little bit early, ain't you? Well, see, I'd come out now and get everything ready so I can start at 7 o'clock and then go from there. <laughs> no, they talk funny in Canada. <laughs> Talking to Boots. Talking he even said it's not her calling. I thought it was a phone call too. 
Hello, Dennis. Hello, Dennis. Oh, where's Dennis? I don't see Dennis on there. Oh, there he is. Hello, Dennis. Look at that. John broke a blade. Nobody's saying it's wrong. Hey, would, you, would uh, you like would you like us to sing you a song? <laughs> Go ahead. I'll chime in after I drink my drink. Oh, I gotta wait for him to break break a blade. I'll be. I just broke one. Did you? Yeah, yeah. that's what I we forgot to say. Guys, did you guys break a blade? Yeah. Take a drink. Take a drink. Man, that was good. I needed it. Somebody go give me some tea. <laughs> I got a half a gallon sitting here, and I drank about half of this. Got yeah. about a two liters left. Wait, Steve Cohn said, "Drink." Did you, did you just use imperial metric in the same man, sentence? Huh? You said I got a gallon here, and I got with two liters left. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm trying to broaden my horizons. You know, I'm trying to become a man of the world now. Oh, okay. What's in that two? What's in that two liter? Yeah, it does say we say about the Canadian <laughs> say a boot. I told John already a boot is what you wear on your foot. <laughs> he says, Hurt, you are weird, LOL. We can't agree with that. Leonard Dave, Leonard Dave, yeah. I missed it, so he had one for me and one for him. Yeah, I'm a little bit weird, but I'm a little funny fella. Yeah. He's the best LOL I've ever seen. You know, if you haven't grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. Is that a rule? Eva said uh, you should have names lighting up for who's talking. That way she knows who's, who to listen to or who she's listening to. Okay, if it sounds like this, it's John. <laughs> Josh, Josh Grover <laughs> says, did you guys ever figure out what two little lines past seven eighths is? Yeah, it's 8 uh, eight, 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 by God. It's 8 eight. Because seven eighths is fourteen sixteenths. Two more lines is, is uh, another eight, so that's eight eighths. That's an inch. Well, yeah. Well, that's what I said. But the thing is, is that the tape he was actually looking at had thirty seconds on it. Did it? Yes. Well, we don't go by that. It Every line up, is a sixteenth, by God. Yeah. See, because it ended up being fifteen sixteenths, right? Because two. Two little ticks past seven eighths. Okay, I, I agree with you on that. But now that now that I hear that part, I knew. Well, that yeah, part well, it totally night. threw me off too. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, two lines is an eight. And then I said, you know, it's six hundred and ten inches or six hundred ten millimeters. Fellas, I'll be right back. I gotta go get me something to drink. Don't don't take too long. I can't do the LOL. Well, you know, it, it <laughs> takes me uh, a few minutes to walk twenty feet. <laughs> Well, I can uh, go around in circles. If you want, I can go around in circles. Uh, yeah, I can, I can put the cameras on people, and then they'll be like, "No, I don't want to do that." No, no cameras, no cameras. They have to do a paparazzi all the other time. Yeah, he says, "Yeah, but I have no no faces to them names that she doesn't know who is who and what's what." Leonard David said the answer for that question was 99 one hundredths. <laughs> That's pretty close. <laughs> he says, I guess it depends on the lines you're doing. My God, you better not say that to the wrong people. They might think something else. Yeah, was giving him a hard time. He's like, oh, I want to be accurate. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 
Henry wants to know what saw, saw you use, and I'm going to tell him it's uh, Excalibur. Lawrence wants the link. Larry. All right. You want me to send him the link? Sure, send Larry the All link. Right. I'm going to send him the link. Uh, Leonard, yeah, I'm using an EX21. I uh, do not have the Pegasus bleed attachments on it yet because it's still working for me. <laughs> uh, I've had it for, I'm going to say, uh, seven years. And it's still working fine. I've only had one problem with it. Oh, well, two problems. Uh, one of my uh, blade tighteners stripped out on me. So I basically just retapped it and put a bolt in there with a fancy turn knob on it. And my top tension leg is so worn out that I basically just use a, uh, an emery pad, emery pad at the bottom of the tight. Knock yourself, mute yourself next time you leave. <laughs> okay, uh, Mary, I sent you the link. What the mist out there? Nada. Yeah, I go to the ice box, get me some tea. I got, I'm almost out of it too. He was saying, uh, ain't that blade just a uh, thin, sandy string? He uses what? fiber blades. Ain't that blade just a thin sanding string? Pretty <laughs> much. Kind of, sort of, and you can't use it for sanding. About as big as your hair. Yeah. Well. Hey, now I'm world famous and a Mr. Guest. <laughs> yeah, you are. My God, he doesn't have a camera, so you won't <laughs> be able to see him even. Don't like cameras. Yeah, I'm always afraid I'm going to break them. Steve no, said he bought a Harley Freight good lathe today. What, which one did you buy, Steve? The, the floor model or the mini one? So the blade, a blade I'm using right now is a Eberl, Eberl Tornado One, and it is a point zero three two in size, I believe. Don't ask me how many teeth. I can't. I don't know that that number yet. No, I like these blades. They're nice blades. They're hard to find. Oh, okay. They last forever. These, these ones hardly ever break on me. Yeah, hey, Steve. don't be talking about turning stuff on my show. Get out of here. <laughs> I think most of your audience <laughs> does, does turning, huh? <laughs> Just about. Yeah. Yeah, I had that same model, uh, Steve. I had that for a little while, and I ended up uh, giving it to Charles. It was taking up too much room in my shop, and I didn't have room for it. Didn't use it that much, so I gave John, it away. John, he just got a question. He goes, "How many blades you use per project?" Hopefully, uh, it depends on the project. <laughs> um, here, let me, I'll, I'll put my, my screen back up. It depends on the project and depends on the wood because I know, for example, this one. <clears throat> for this one here, I used one blade. Now, the thing is, it, 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 it depends more on how much time you spend cutting if you're gonna burn your blade out like if you just go continuous then yeah you're gonna burn you're, you're gonna use more blades because they're gonna heat up and and break um but if you do like longer cut like for the full outside edge if you're gonna do that all in one shot you might you might burn a blade doing that but i spend a lot of time uh talking and my blades cool down so <laughs> but 
<laughs> it, 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 it depends on the hardness of your wood. It depends on how, how, how hard you're pushing your wood through your blade. It depends uh, a lot of factors. Uh, it, it depends on the manufacturer of the blade. It depends on wh whether it's uh, forged steel or pressed steel. Uh, depends on your teeth counts. Depends on if your wood is wet. Depends on how dry your wood is. So depends on what wood and how long cut you go. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it, de it, it it depends on on, on on the person cutting too because uh, uh, some some people got a really hard push when 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 they're doing cutting. Some some people don't push hard enough, and and, and you'll you'll go through a lot of blades. It depends on your tension as well. Um, with spirals, you want a lot of tension. So I can't even finish this off. Like me, way. sometimes I get too impatient. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to be breaking a lot of blades. Well, you break blades like, like, like if if your tension isn't tight, and like you want you don't want it too tight, but you want it tight enough that it'll cut the wood so that you get a nice cut, but you don't want it too tight that it's going to burn through the wood because it doesn't have a time to actually do the cut um, because it, 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 you, you want a little bit of flex like a little bit of flex in your in your blade but not not so much that it bends back when, when you're pushing on the wood but not too tight that that it, you don't get any flex at all and, and basically you're, 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 you're burning through your wood instead of cutting it well yeah. a lot of people like that that little high-pitched twang when you when you touch the blade pop the blade yeah exactly well if you take a, it's a certain pitch i mean you know what that pitch is you know you know you're at the right spot ain't see, that a high c yeah that's it's a high i don't is. know so like, we'll hear it. this is what it mine is yes yeah that's about that's about that's about what you want to hear poppy's woodshed has a question yes, do you see right. the packing tape poppy's to save the blade? Shed has a yeah i don't uh i don't use packing tape i i tried it when i first started out because everybody said oh you got to use packing I, tape oh you got to use blue tape oh you got to use the, this, no, you this don't. and this you don't have to no you don't i've never i just uh, used packing tape to help hold the pattern down yeah even i don't do that because i don't I, do that either because i i basically just use my my, my press and seal which i have not mm -hmm. been doing on this one but uh, uh, I, I don't use blue tape. I don't use painter's tape. I don't use the, uh, 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 clear packing tape. You can put clear packing tape on, but I find that if if it's not totally flat as you're cutting through, your sawdust will actually go underneath it. Underneath, and, like and then you got a bump. Yeah. And, and you can't see your pattern at all then. Yeah. Yeah. I do it the old-fashioned way. I, I just put the pattern on the wood and uh, spray it easy. And when I'm done cutting, I take my mineral spirits and wipe it off. And you know, it's, it's good and dry, and good to go. What's uh, what's John and Dennis talking about? I don't know. Hey Dennis, are you referring to John C. or no John N. What project are you referring to? Talk amongst yourselves. It's okay. <laughs> well, you did give them permission to do what you wanted. Yeah, to yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Welcome <laughs> to John's show. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I distinctly recall. Talk about turning. Talk about CNCs. It's okay. It's a scrolling. <laughs> hey, who, where was the CNC question? I missed it. <laughs> I don't know. CNCs are back there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. If, if if you got any CNC questions, ask for us. If you got any scroll saw questions, I have free answer them. If you got any turning questions. Everybody in the chat is Turner, so... Everybody in the chat is <laughs> going to hit you up. <laughs> Too hilarious. <laughs> but I know this weekend I got a lot of projects to finish off for Christmas, so I want to try and get them done before before December anyway, so we can ma ma mail them off. Is that the ones you've had for a year or so in the shop waiting to be done? <laughs> yeah, so I got... I got uh, how many of those have I got? And I thought I took a long time. Three, 
five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See, I, I got eleven Yodas to finish cutting. Man, oh man! Look, I started them. They're 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 they're, they're, they're all in different different phases, right? See, this one's almost all the way done. Oh yeah. And this one's got ears and eyes done. <laughs> These ones got pilot holes in them. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> They're all at various stages. But yeah, uh, uh, I, I I started these last year for Christmas because I did one for my son when he was up here, and everybody's all like, "Oh, can we get one of those?" So yeah, so I started making them last Christmas, and uh, I'll get them done this year for everybody that wanted them. For for everybody that ordered the, the baby them, Yoda's. John, it's been a lot quicker. Uh, the quarter inch. Well, see, see, John, why don't you just stack cut them? It'll be quicker. Cause I don't want to stack cut. I don't like stack cutting. Cause if you stack cut, then <laughs> yeah, it's original, but it's not as original as you want it to be. So it's not. Each one is unique that way. Oh, see, that plus, sounds like anti CNC no, talk no, no. right there. Plus, plus the thing is, is uh, I don't know if you can see these lines on here. Because his, his eyebrows, like the lines on his forehead, uh -huh. and his nose, and his mouth, yeah. like, those are like single vein cuts. Mm -hmm. And I got to use uh, my my smallest, smallest, my smallest blade. The smallest blade I have is actually too big for it. Really? So what I'll size use, is that? That's a zero. A zero I would one. say a, a three aught. Zero one. And the thing is, is, is that. My smallest blade is just a little bit too large, and the thing is, is that when I do one, it's fine. But if I stack cut them, I know it'll break off. Oh yeah. The uh, the, 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 the the mouth and, and chin part mm -hmm. will break because they're so close to each other. Besides, it's unique if you do one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's, yep. It, it, it's not like I'm using the CNC, so. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I'm a school saw as well. It's not production I would, I would work. Plenty of hell from from being a CNC guy. I I I do stack cut though. Like I stack cut these. Yeah. I stack cut those, and they're like. That's cool. Pretty straight on on both of them. So. That's a nice cut, John. That is. That's pretty cool. I can't. I think I got this out of one of the uh, one of the magazines. Uh, I think it was a pattern in one of the magazines, though. I don't remember which one it is, but I know I liked it. I printed it off, and because there, there's a there's a lot of indigenous people up here that like right. eagles, that like eagles, so they're like, oh, we eagles and feathers. Anything eagles and feathers, we'll take eagles and feathers. So I cut a bunch of <laughs> eagles and feathers. <laughs> and little uh, uh, dream catchers and all kinds of stuff. So. Oh yeah, that, those are cool too. And those sold like right away. Mm-hmm. Because you know, once their their Indian checks come in, they're like, "Oh, we got to spend this money on something." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to do it by word of mouth though, because you don't have time to go out and hustle it, huh? Well, you know, it's Canada. Then I got to walk everywhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got to haul out the the. I, oh. I gotta haul the sled. I gotta go get the dog team and bring them up, and I gotta get <laughs> dress my mock locks, and everything else, right? Yeah, they don't have any vehicles up there. Huh? I gotta pack the igloo up for the night so I can go on the road, on the trail. Get old Greg to help you on that back of that motorcycle. He can drag you. Can't oh, find yeah. the dogs. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better put some spikes in them tires. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to scrolling here, guys. Thank you. Like I, like I said, I got all the stuff to do this weekend, so I'll be in my shop all weekend doing videos on and off and on and off. Chris Neeland just joined you. How how you doing, Chris? Chris, how's it going? Is he gonna send you a pizza like he does, Charles? No, I have pizza for supper. <laughs> I make I I make sure I eat before I come in the shop. Ooh. That's why I wanted to wait another half an hour before I came out. So I could finish <laughs> eating. <laughs> but somebody just couldn't wait. I wonder who that was. It was me. Alright. 
That's my Texan buddy taking care of it. That guy's got to get in trouble. 99% of the time it's me. <laughs> John says, hello to everyone I missed. Hello, 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 hello. I better not do that because I'll get started. <laughs> hello. I'm a toy girl. <laughs> <laughs> toys are us still open or they file bankruptcy? Those are the stores. I can't remember the last, last one I was in Toys R Us. Hmm. Sam says I'm about one phone call away from the loon pen. <laughs> <laughs> My wife says something else about me. <laughs> I can't repeat it. That four hours has got to be nice. <laughs> Eva's going to make a shrunken head. I hope it's not mine. I was going to say, who's the guinea pig? I got a volunteer over here. <laughs> <laughs> I bet y'all can't guess who it is. Doug is leaving us. You gotta have it down by. Good night, Doug. Good night, Doug. Good night, Doug. <sighs> the people are going to bed now. I'm just now waking up. Going to bed? What's wrong with them? That's where I've been most of the day. <laughs> in the morning or something. Well, I got up at 11, 11.30. I'll be right back. back. Okay, we'll be back left. Says, Night, Dougie, sweet dreams of dresses. You want to see that poor man in, in a dress so bad you can't find it. <laughs> oh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning over there. It's really bad. I sometimes forget that's where you are. <laughs> yeah, John, ladies and gentlemen, Doug has left the bed. <laughs> he says, nothing wrong with a little drag now and then. <laughs> show the other day and then a bunch of drag queens on there and I'm like, oh, those are the most horrid looking drag queens I've ever seen. <laughs> like, if you're going to dress up, try and look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> he said, now that Doug's gone, we can talk freely. <laughs> What does that mean? We said, uh oh. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. He didn't say it in a good way. You all right, Hurt? He's talking to Pam. I'm sneezing. I was going to say, do I need to call 911? 
No. Okay. I wouldn't have said, uh-oh. I would have said, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> hot dog, hot dog. Game on, game on. Yeah. Dennis is saying it for you. <laughs> Walked out, Russ. I hear a car pulling in the driveway. I just got a phone call. She's gonna be a little while. Oh. <laughs> Save that one for later. Oh, wait a minute. That's John's phone call. <laughs> All right, see you, Chris. <laughs> Hope you make it back. Charles going on tonight? Yeah. I haven't seen nothing. Oh, he said he was building a ramp today, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, going, going he was helping today. build it. We probably wore him out. He has no second half. Did an hour of actual work and I was tired. <laughs> All right, woke up at three o'clock and I worked for half an hour. I gotta go back to bed. Yeah, that guy's got some weird sleeping eyes, about like mine. And hers. I know it. That's kind of why we make a good team. Hard time sleeping in past about seven o'clock in the morning. Really? Yeah, like like I, I, I my alarm set for six oh three in the morning, and I'm always up before my alarm goes off. Six oh three, really? Yep, yep six oh three. Yeah, I'll show you. You got to be that precise with it. So here's here here's my alarms. Here's my alarms. Six oh three and six fifty one. Because it's 603, 6.03 I get up, I go to the bathroom, and then I go back to bed. <laughs> oh, Lord. And I get like another 12 inches of sleep. It, it, it's like hitting the sneeze alarm, right? weekend on well, Saturdays and Sundays, but I'm still up at the same time. Who's your mic? He, he was from the other side of the pond. You, you know how it is, Russ, like back, back when you're delivering the mail. You know, you, you're, huh. you're, you're up a certain time every day. Yeah. It's, you know, even the military and everything else. Mm -hmm. you to, so. Right. Bad part so, about me. Whenever I was delivering the mail, is because I would always stay up late at night, like I do now, and then have to get up early to go to work. So technically, I don't need an alarm, but I do have it just in case. Yeah, I, you know, I've always needed it. I can never wake up early on my own. Because sometimes at night I might go to bed at like eleven oh eight, and then I'm just like, oh, I'm out right away. <laughs> Why is he so precise there, Herb? He wants to get up at. 603 but can't lord heaven don't let him get up at six o'clock that'd be too much to ask i know it. six o'clock's too early in the morning <laughs> but three minutes later is okay yeah <laughs> so you set your alarm go to the bathroom yeah you got yes. something you know, he's, he's, he's delaying using those pins, so he has to get up how long to go to the I'll send you some of mine. <laughs> See, uh, I don't worry about sleeping, waking up at 6 or 3. I, I usually do the time I'm going to bed. <laughs> you get too <laughs> 
sometimes it's 7 o'clock in the morning going to bed. I'll wake up at 11 or 12 and then I'm up for the rest of the day. Yeah, about the time they start a live stream over there, I usually fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's about the way it is. Well, back when Dale used to do his uh, Sunday morning shows, mm -hmm. I was uh, 603, I was up and he was already started his show. I'm like, oh, I'm late, I'm late. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get I up until about 5.15 in the morning. Hmm. It was almost 11. I got up. Stayed awake till flyers and went right back to bed. Mm -hmm. What the hell being retired, eh? <laughs> yeah. bet. But I do know that if, if I'm not out the door at 7.04, then I end up in rush hour traffic. Like, like 7.08 rush hour traffic is just unbelievable. It takes me an extra four minutes to get to work. Right. Wow. You only really? work for two blocks from your house? It's an eight minute drive, man. <laughs> <laughs> Take me nine and a half to two hours. Y'all had that many roads up there. Don't really see comment out loud. I'll give you a for that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, if that happened with me, I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> Isn't that when you know to become a woodworker? When you wake up in the morning wood all the time? <laughs> Good one, John. <laughs> I need to know what I'm going to do for a living. John, Whoa, I didn't what's think this? I got y'all had that many roads up there. There's not many roads. We got enough roads. We got a more, just as many roads you guys do down there. They ain't got many roads, but they got a lot of caribou trails. <laughs> we got an area of the highway that's called Moose Row because it's so caribou moose and moose die on die on every year. We call it Moose Row. Grizzly bears, polar bears. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I've actually never seen a polar bear in our area. <clears throat> we got, uh, uh, what was it the other day? Uh, so, Carrie goes out driving and she's like, I saw a pheasant. I'm like, yeah, you didn't see a pheasant. You're probably gross. <laughs> like, no, I saw a pheasant. I saw a pheasant. And the next day, somebody else posted they saw a pheasant. She's like, I told you, I saw a pheasant. I'm like, okay. And no, it wasn't a naked pheasant. I was going to say, did you ask me if it was naked? <laughs> no, I, I knew it was coming. No, it wasn't a naked pheasant. But apparently... Apparently, Alberta Game and Wildlife set, uh, like, they, they let go these pheasants in the, like, uh, in, in the county for for hunting season, I imagine, and repopulate the areas, you know, cause, because it, they feed the coyotes and everything else. Mm. And uh, so, so, yeah, so apparently every year they've been doing this, and this is the first time we've ever seen a pheasant in town. Everybody say hello to J uh, Jason. He just showed up. Hello, Jason. I got grouse up there, too, don't you? Mr. Richley, yes. We got all the same animals you guys got down there. We just call them different names. Like uh, Up here, they're called geese. Down there, they're called Canadian geese. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Just Check like the bacon. Up here, they're called cougars. Down there, they're called mountain lions. <laughs> we got cougars down here. One lives right next door. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong kind of cougar. <laughs> we don't have pheasant in my area, but we got a bunch of quail. Yeah. So we got a lot of quail down in South Texas. Okay, I'll behave. You better. Oh, boy. That wife is going to whip your butt. 
I want video. Don't tell me out the door. We have some wild geese at our pond. Yeah, they're out there. Yeah, they're out there. Was that about geese in your pond? Wild geese? What was it? What did uh, you say we have going? a pond in our front yard, and the uh, wild geese come and uh, rest their wings every once in a while. Wild geese. What the world? I don't think nobody knows. Yeah, you're Canadian geese. Oh, okay. Oh, you call them wild geese down there. Okay. Steve <laughs> says he has cougars down there. <laughs> But he usually sees them at the mall. Exactly, in soccer field. <laughs> oh, he dropped the kids off the soccer field, so I don't know. He was asking Steve if that's the food that he hunts. Let's do it. I hope the deer, yo, hunt, we will go. Hunt, we will go. Hunt, <laughs> like we, uh, I have seen wolves. Uh, we got wolves in our area, black bears, grizzlies. Uh, it's different, like major predator animals. You know, coyotes, fox. The usual stuff. Have you ever noticed though that uh, you're, you're, five or ten like, years ago they moved coyotes in here? That was the worst thing they could have done. Yeah, but they're supposed to control like small, small game, like like control small game, right? And the thing is, is that uh, when, they, when they do that, they, there's usually either too much small game in an area, so they bring coyotes in to take care of that. But then the wolves start coming in, and then the bigger game comes in to get rid of them. Well, here they're actually killing the deer. Well, maybe there's a, too much of a deer population. Not enough hunters. The coyotes here are running in packs. Yeah, why don't somebody tell you me it's time to drop the knives? What's that? I said, why didn't somebody tell me it was time to drop the knives? Hey, Herb? Time to put drop in your eyes. Too late, I'm dead. <laughs> you got glasses on, how am I supposed to know your eyes are dry? Because <laughs> of the diabetic. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Retinopathy? Yeah. I'm trying to do everything I can, not get needles stuck in my eye. Mm, that's a long little needle. Ah, it's a little needle. You barely see it. <laughs> no, even uh, a uh, dog like a cat is not jumping from behind. That's doggy. I don't even every now and then it comes out of me. Dirty talk now. Oh, I am so shocked, bruh. 
I'm glad I don't I'm glad I don't hang around you fellas too much. Don't be rubbing off on me. I'm so demure. I might be blonde, but still. <laughs> oh, lordy, 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 lordy. And uh, saying, well, we ruined her reputation. Ha <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm so sweet, nice, innocent. Oh, you yeah, haven't seen him on the episode. Oh, you need to be on the episode to figure out what's the real earth. Oh, my God, the after show. <laughs> <laughs> what after show? I don't know anything about it. Can y'all have after show? <laughs> Uh, she's back. telling me she I read like I need new glasses. Ah! After shows they're going backstage in the green room. <laughs> yeah, Steve, I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, definitely. One day she'll have to get her camera and her and her uh, microphone to come on the panel. Yeah, be another mystery guest. Yeah. Well, but I want her to have a camera. Oh, well, you just don't watch some of her videos. <laughs> I didn't even know who she was until today. I guess I'm gonna have to go over and take you a look at it. Yeah, she works in leather. A saddler. Yeah? Are you still doing that, Eve? What? Just scroll on, we'll do the chatting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's good. That's good. Okay. care of the cat, buddy. Don't worry about it. You can do it. You will sit here and stop watching the guy. We don't want to distract you from scrolling. Yeah, we're going to have to stay loud. Alright, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and open up YouTube. Check you out. Take that sweet bread. What? You're gonna multitask it? What's up with that, Russ? Yeah, I know. I've got to be the John in this, in this group. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? <laughs> that ain't even Charles. Small, make a cat of nine tails first, though. Now that is a shame. What's that? That is a shame. What? I went to her YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and there's not one taken video. But they have, they have subscribers, but no videos. Sounds like this. I don't, I don't have but one. <laughs> Yo, 
know one more than I do. <laughs> Yeah, I'm considering myself making another one. I got my mind set on one. Yeah, I'm over and fun of me. Yeah, either there is another guy here, but you can't see him because uh, he won't put a good camera on, but you can hear him talk if John will let him. Larry, that's your cue. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Larry, you got to say something. So, uh, I figured that. I told you I'm always a nice guy. <laughs> well, brother, you hanging out in the wrong crowd because we'll corrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> eh, not really. You know what? I, I've always thought about scroll sawing leather. I just never had a big enough piece to do it with. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I would do uh, probably, you know, it, it sounds cruel, but I think I would do like, like a nice bull mm -hmm. <laughs> cutting the leather or uh, a horse cutting the leather. Steve Good cool. had some patterns like uh, talking about uh, scrolling uh, leather and stuff, making a sandwich of it and scrolling the pattern. Yeah, I suppose. And uh, he talked about it on one of the yeah, shows. Yeah, I watched him. In, in uh, yeah. Forget what he called it, but it, it was making a sandwich with paper, the pattern on top and then wood behind it and all that and making it strong. That's what I did when I was cutting. Uh, uh, yeah, he done cut. paper, leather, and a couple other things. Right. Oh. Pretty, pretty the cool. I, I, I enjoyed it. AI. AI or AL? It's actually IA. IA? Okay. I like it better AI, artificial intelligence. At least it ain't at all. IA. My granddaughter's name Lydia. That's yeah, yeah, but that's what I was talking about, uh, the different mediums to put it together. Yeah, I think my dad used to uh, use that. It's called meat lack. Hmm. Oh, she did say nice letters. Yeah, so those are uh, these, these outside strokes here. Hey, wait a those minute. Are, I see, I see a wavy ones. line there. Those are one sixteenth. That's the angle it's on. <laughs> those are one one sixteenth inch stroke lines on those ones there. Yeah, there is one in that A, right there. Yeah, right there at the bottom, where your finger is. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Got off the line a little bit. I'll get back to it, but not right away. I want to see your scroll saw make something. Right. I want to see your CNC machine make something that small. <laughs> hmm. Only okay, yeah, I'll go my corner. Ten more letters to cut out. Uh, no, wait, I lied. There's more. He just says, no, it's wavy. <laughs> now you make sure there's no waves Look. in that one. See my ruler? Look, my ruler's weedy. <laughs> there you go. It's just an effect, you say. They're real inches or millimeters. Mm. Those are millimeters. Ugh, it's probably a centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go with hectometer? Decimeters? Mm. <laughs> that's, that's too much. Okay, I'll go to my corner. I quit you in your room. I got to. I don't have a, a wrench well, on. I've already been. Card. I'm already in my room, so I can't be sent to my room. <laughs> Go to the corner. <laughs> Go to the corner. Put your nose in it. <laughs> yeah, look. See, you can't the corners are full. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
<sighs> what? I've only been out for an hour? Oh, that's unbelievable. Your back's already hurting, huh? It's from those straight lines. Straight <laughs> lines is a death of me. But. I thought it'd be from all the snow. Well, that too would have been cold. So, yeah, yesterday was nice and warm. It was warm yesterday. And then, uh, woke up this morning, there was an inch of snow on my truck. I'm like, ah, oh. inch of snow on my truck. I'm not impressed. And then about uh, noon, it warmed up. All, all the snow melted. All the snow melted and started raining. Mm -hmm. Not impressed. I guess the yes, cat and fish is fixing to leave. Yes, these I have. Hmm. What, she leaving already? She's got here. Oh, she just ain't nice to meet us. I guess she's talking about actually putting a face to me and Russ. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. I got it now because I thought she was leaving too. <laughs> well, let me let me go ahead and show you that. Got the long hair right there. Now you see me. Fabio. Fabio. That's Charles' eye candy. <laughs> that's what I say. I'm just here to be eye candy. I say that on Javi's show too, because I don't get to talk much on his show. What? Oh, you can't, wow. get, can't catch a breath to get in, in between his talking. Has he, been, has, has he been doing his shows lately still though? I haven't seen him on there. No, no he has been doing the, uh, the the local daily ones, but uh, he, he does the show on Saturday. Oh. Yeah, that's the main show. John Nate says yeah. he made some Jaffa cakes today. Send us some, John. Yeah. I want to see what that is. Let me tell you, the ones I got from Germany, they were good. <laughs> the ones from England are any better. That would be another addiction of mine. You know, you can buy them on Amazon. Right? Yeah, yeah, but when I tried to order them, they was, uh, something went wrong or something. I think I seen them at, uh, a Kroger yeah. or something. Really? Yeah. You can get them at Aldi, but Aldi only does them when it's seasonal. Yeah, that's my hair. I didn't buy it. I grew it. <laughs> used to be a lot longer <laughs> mm. oh lordy <laughs> you say you're from Sweden are you living there or are you uh, in, in England Yeah. This is where she goes, no, I'm Sweden. I'm Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say she lived in Stockholm, but I may be wrong. And that's still six hours from us? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I cut mine off too, but when I cut it the, the last time, it was a lot longer than it is right now. If I had what I had then plus this, I would have been sitting on it big time. Two thirty-eight. Yeah, that is six six hours. Yeah, I was right. Yeah. Stockholm. 8.38 at my house. 7.38 here. 
Yeah. Five thirty nine here. Eight thirty nine <laughs> in my house. Oh wait a minute! I need to put batteries in that clock. Yeah, you're a little off, Herb. <laughs> Only three hours. But, by God, you're the same time zone I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> No, I did not check because I remember you saying that one time. Well, she the said same it earlier. Way. She said yeah, it earlier, but way. I didn't. I did not know that uh, that was the same uh, time zone as as uh, the UK. So maybe I guess it's close enough. Huh? Yeah, I think I asked her one time before where she was from, and she said uh, capital Sweden. <laughs> that time I did have to look it up. Is that Oslo? <laughs> Capital C Oslo. Yeah, it's Oslo, isn't it? Yep. I think so. That was what I think, man. I didn't even Google that. Herb and I are from Texas. Larry's what? Mississippi? John's from Canada. So we're pretty well spread out. Can't just say Canada. Oslo's yeah. Norway. Come on. It is. Oh yeah, I suppose it is. I guess it is. <laughs> I thought sure as heck that was Sweden. Well, I should have googled that. I should. Yeah. I, yeah, I, sure. I let the ball drop. I'm sorry, there, John. You know, it's sure be nice to be the youngest one on this panel. Yeah, and I'm the <laughs> oldest. <laughs> Blast it all. <laughs> Stockholm. Ah, now that's one where I, I should have known and could not remember. Hmm. So since I'm tired of doing straight lines, I'm going to do some curvy lines. Drill. Drill. Oh! I am at the dinner oh. call again. Oh! I do know these extra holes if I really need them. <laughs> Always better to have too many than not enough. Yeah, exactly. Because somebody missed four <laughs> pilot holes all in the same area on the project he started. <laughs> I wonder who that was. It wasn't I. It starts with a C and ends with an S? Yeah. Let's call it that. What are you talking about? I CD. have no idea. <laughs> so I'm going to change over. You're doing to my, the root canal, John? I'm going to change over my three quarter inch, <clears throat> three quarter inch pine here. <laughs> and just curvy letters. Hmm. I guess I'm lucky. I ain't never had to have one. What, it's a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. What, root canal? Yeah. Uh, root canals are nothing. Yeah. Okay. Root canals are actually a waste of money. So your, 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 te your teeth will actually still fall out. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, it's still right away. Most just get it pulled. <clears throat> Like a, a root canal is like fifteen hundred bucks, and, and to get an extraction is like seventy five bucks. I'll just get it pulled. Mm -hmm. Save yourself some money. <laughs> then get them all pulled and get some dentures put in. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> but it's sure. kind of weird. Mine didn't start falling out till I had all this stroke and then being put on all that meds. And it just seemed like all of a sudden they just started breaking right and left. Well, hmm. honestly, my teeth started rotting when I quit smoking. If that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe it was because I substituted cigarettes for sugared candy. <laughs> so you went back to cigarettes and cut out the candy, huh? Yeah, so then... Started smoking again, my teeth were fine. And then I got them pulled out, got my dentures put in, started smoking again, no problems. 
You want some <laughs> butterscotch? Oh, yeah. I actually don't like butterscotch. I used to. I think I ate too much of it when I was a kid, though. I like them Werther's Originals. Better than Where the butterscotch. Where did I see the other day? I saw I Werther's like Original. Slowing down. Down. I saw Werther's, Werther's Original yeah. Popcorn the other day. I did, too. I've seen it. I've, I haven't tried it, but I saw it on an ad on TV for it. Yeah, I just I can't it. imagine what that would taste like. Caramel popcorn. Uh, I think it's a little different than caramel cop, but it's it'd probably be good. Yeah, because it's Werther's. I love them things. I used to like eating. Uh, uh, they're called ca ca Campinos. They came in mm. strawberry and peach, and they were they were like uh, peaches and cream, and strawberry and cream. They were just small, like like like, like the peppermint peppermints used to be. Mm-hmm. And 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 then they came. It, then they made them uh, chewable, and I freaking I would eat a bag in like an hour. <laughs> I would agree with you. Oh my god! Mm. Carrie put a joke on my page. Eva says she smoked almost two packs a day before I qu before she quit. I smoke about a pack a day. It's not that bad. I was smoking about seven packs a day before I quit, and I was tubing my own and using pipe tobacco. Seven Too many packs Christmas. a day. Wow. I've never smoked time? a cigarette in my life, and I don't yeah. plan on it. You're just a completely teetotaler, huh? I said, don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? As a song there, huh? Drink, drink peach tea. <laughs> I drink a lot of that. Hey, Here's wait a minute. Yeah. I was going to say, Russ, he loves to talk. Wait a minute, John. Carry <laughs> put a joke on my page. What do you get when you pick a pig's nose? Hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh. Are you sure you want to take a drink? <laughs> I'll be nice to you. Yeah. Since I could see you. Yeah, Ain't I no was fun. Uh huh. I wasn't. Uh, even thinking about it at that point. Oh, I thought you seen me because I started laughing the minute you picked it up. <laughs> no, nope, wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> yeah, where'd everybody go? They all leave? Charles thought a show we didn't know about? No, because you're not there. You don't have a secretary. You just got nobody to read the chat. Well, maybe Wes is over there, too. Ah, Wes ain't even online. He's having a show with Wes right now. So ah. Wes, Wes is doing his own show right now. Is it? Matt Cremor is on. Oh, well, it was four hours ago. Two hours ago. See, there's nobody on right now. Woo, I got Freddy Day. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, what? I got Freddy Nights. There's nobody on right now. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Like... Okay, I, I yes, I got different lists than everybody else, but uh, Jason Bennett was on two hours ago. Matt Kermorn was on four hours ago. Stace Banks was on five hours ago. Uh, Steve at, at SK Crafts was on six hours ago. Yeah, see, so. Yeah, he did a, I caught the tail end of his show. He was doing a little CNC and lasering. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. I don't even know who uh, it is. SK Crafts. You know, okay. uh, Steve from SK Crafts. Yeah, he's a pretty good designer, too. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, but see, I was working six hours ago, though, so... I don't get to catch oh, all these. <laughs> well, you got a new you got a new sub there. Woo! Wait, it didn't come up yet. It, oh, it didn't come up yet. I don't know. I don't know. Since you subbed to this channel. I don't know. I can't wait. It didn't come up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a notification yet. I don't know. Let yeah, we're all good folks here. No, see, it hasn't gone up yet. I only got 117 still. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you, Ava. I appreciate it. And tell all your friends. Oh. Tell all your friends they can come by and watch the show and have a blast and listen to everybody on the in the chat. And talk about <laughs> every, every, everything but scroll sawing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, did you say we had to stay on topic? I, I mean, I didn't hear that, but no, there's no topic. It, it's it's <laughs> random. It happens that way sometimes, John. <laughs> no, not sometimes. Nope. Well, they said y'all take care of the chat. He'll be the scrolling. 
Exactly. She said you uh you it should have been up already because she did it like thirty minutes ago. Let me check again. No, nope, it's not there yet. I'll wait for it. I believe you. Yeah, see my, my my last subscriber was Rusty Nails Workshop, twenty three hours. Hey, ago. Buddy. Yeah, it only took you four years to do that. Well, hell, I thought I was already subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of people that I think I'm subscribed to, and I may not be. Pretty sure I subscribed to your channel like five years yeah. ago. Yeah, when you when you named it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's when it was, too. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. One of these days, I'll put another video on. John, you've gotten another name flex. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna because <coughs> those straight lines are starting to get to me. My back is killing me. So I'm gonna do curvy lines. So I don't stay so strenuously straight and accurate. Steve said he's going for some more bacon. Be right back. Uh, oh, don't say bacon in front of John. Bacon. Wouldn't that be a uh, Canadian bacon? Oh, let's don't get into that again. Yeah. Don't get into that again. John gets a sore spot every time I say Canadian bacon. <laughs> no, it's you you're like oh, it's ham. It's ham. It is ham. Bacon and Canadian bacon is not the same thing. It's, it's salt steered bacon is what it is. Bacon and Canadian bacon is not the same thing. Tomato tomato. They both are uh, on the pig. Canadian bacon is ham. It looks like ham yeah. and it tastes like ham. And I can't eat it. But I can tear up some bacon. <laughs> that John potato. Cousin would be so full walking out the door, but when you mention bacon, he's always got room. No, oh, I was always room for bacon. <laughs> you used to catch me at a buffet one morning at, at the hotel. Oh, <laughs> I, I love your, you used to put those plates full of bacon on. I said, man, I used to, that's my kind of guy right there. He's even got bacon in the shop. <laughs> I got bacon everywhere in my shop. Bacon everywhere. That bacon he's got in the shop is all for fibrous. Ava says she put uh, one of your old lives on in the background, John. And uh, so she can leave a comment on it. Or the sub won't count if she doesn't leave a comment on it. That's the new rules on YouTube, I guess. I don't know. Oh. What? Just hold on a sec, right, guys? I have not heard that. Hey, Jeff, let's go. Here we get there. Tell me about it. Yeah, that's what I hated about YouTube. You know, at first... You know, you can hover over their name and it bring up their link. Then they stop mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Here, let me go turn that uh, scanner off. My wife's not even here. Yeah, we never stay on topic, Eve. We're always coming up with something goofy or weird or hilarious. Bunch of grown men acting like little kids. Cartoon time, yep. That would be us. Uh oh, like somebody kicked the can over. Everybody gone? <laughs> I just I came did. back.
silent in the background now. Yeah. Yeah, we're all trying to hear well, John what uh, cut John us off. is saying. John yeah, he had a phone call. Phone call. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're trying real hard to listen in. I hear a voice. <laughs> I see dead people. I'm muted. Can't hear me. <laughs> I know. What? But he can hear us. Yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Sound like old Lucy Ricardo when you yeah, did that. I can turn my, I got an off on button on my mic. I can turn it off and still leave the mute button on on the computer. And I have the same type of deal. Oh, do you? Yeah, see, I just hit the button well, and I asked, can you hear me now? Out. You couldn't hear me. Oh, okay. I got one of those little uh, podcast mics. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, about an inch and a half in diameter, about three inches long. Okay. Steve Combs said he was once Eva. <laughs> I took that uh, <laughs> funny when he, way he, said, <laughs> way he said that. Uh, Do something live? No, no. All right, guys, I'm back. I can hear you the whole time. I know you could. <laughs> there was a lot of heavy breathing in that phone call. Sure that wasn't no fair. You muted you, you muted yourself, but you didn't mute us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's how he get... keeps control of the fish. <laughs> 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 so. Yeah. Uh, Eva okay. said, "Now she got so curious." She commented, mm -hmm. "Curious about what?" That's what we all want to know. Mm. Inquiring minds want to know. Yes, tell me. I'm waiting. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, Eva. There's all kinds of stuff that I do. I doesn't matter. It, it, like on my 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 business cards, it says, "I'll I'll, I'll do anything." I would if I could. Hence the name. There's nothing that I won't will not attempt. <laughs> There's nothing that I will not attempt to make out of wood. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, oh. hot dog. <laughs> I was looking because the dogs turned their head that way, so I'm looking. Uh, I knew you turned around. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, if yeah. you see it coming up, you holler. <laughs> Duck! Well, <obviously. laughs> My my door's locked, so I don't know who's coming in on me. I can't see you now, Russ. You on yeah, I know. He, he threw me a curve with that one. All right, here. I'll keep you guys on there so you can see her. No, nah, then we can't see you scrolling, man. Yeah, we got to watch for the mistakes and the Bray Blakes. <laughs> Bray Blakes. You heard that? Oh, I just took myself off the screen. Wait. There we go. Well, how can I choose one to go on large then? Steve Cohn wants to know, did you get your car warranty taken care of? Not me. Not my car warranty. I did catch uh, Tom Mitter. Are y'all having technical issues? Video. No. No. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm just looking at the different layouts here, seeing if I can get this one over here instead. To, to come out bigger? There we go. There you go. <clears throat> I'm still on it. Yeah, see, that, 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 now you guys can still see each other in the back there. All right. No, I got the, um, uh, Jeff Murray. I mentioned him. Uh, he was in my shop a couple weeks ago. He's 
the other local stroller in town. He's going out to buy some uh, walnut burl tomorrow. Ah. He went up. I wanted to tag along. I'm like, no, I got. I'm busy in my shop. But uh, he says, come by and see him on Sunday because he's gonna buy a bunch and give me some. Cool. Walnut burls. Yeah. Well, see, you have to be a turner to use a burl, man. You're gonna make no. some uh, bowls. You should see some like, yeah, that, that's a waste of the burl. Oh. I know a lot of people use them in burls for the for the bowls. He wanna know do you get tired of them letters? No, I'll go back to them. <laughs> he has to break it up because it gets a little bit monotonous to doing the same thing all the time. John, the Canadian bacon is ham. It's not the best. It's ham. Ah. <laughs> Canadian bacon with pinea on the edges. Best bacon I ever had was uh, uh, one of the, uh, I was down in Ontario, and one of the guys uh, he, he's Jewish actually. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious because he's Jewish, but he. he, he the best bacon I ever had was cooked by a Jewish guy, and uh, he, he basically that's like, strange. Like, like, yeah, I know, but it, it, it was like chicken fried bacon. It was like, really, oh yeah. Well, we could have that down here. It was in like the South. so yeah. good, but but the, the the slabs of bacon were probably at least half inch thick. They were so thick, and the, he, he he fried them first, mm -hmm. and then. And, and and then he he, he coated them the, the egg, yeah. like with an egg wash and the and, and the pa yeah. uh, panko bread and then yeah. and, and, and then and then double coated them again double coated them yeah and they then, do that and, down here and then broiled them yeah they do that down here in the south we we put chicken fried on almost anything that's the case you don't find some way yeah if the Cajun can catch it feel it you put chicken fried on it that's right. Best bacon I ever had was a candy bacon. I didn't hear what you said, man. Said the best bacon I ever had was a candy bacon. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I best we can find around here is made by a company called Wrights. Yeah. One year, Carrie went nuts with bacon. She made, she bought like eight pounds, eight eight pounds of bacon. And I had bacon for breakfast, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then for lunch she made me like a bacon bowl with like a a, a meat meat salad in it mm. like inside this bacon bowl, and I had a bacon tacos. And wow! Then, <laughs> like bacon taco shells, and then she made me a cake that 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 was the hell this bacon candy bacon wrapped around it to make it look like a tor a tortoise, and then ca big candy bacon strips. My and God! I, oh, I was—I I had so much bacon that day. It was unbelievable. Mm. That's how much one bacon day. you go to a week? Fifty uh, pounds? Well, no, because because I only eat bacon on the weekend. See, see the thing is, I, I eat once a day. I, I eat supper at night, and that's it. And then mm. uh, I'll, I'll have a snack before bed, and then that's it and I, I, until supper the next night. And then uh, in the daytime, basically, I just drink coffee and smoke all day. Mm. <laughs> but the weekends, uh, probably three pounds of bacon on the weekends. Like Saturday and Sunday morning, breakfast, and then uh, I'll like she'll cook up extra bacon. I'll just chew on it in the daytime, whatever. It's a snack. Mm. Yes, sir. Maple bacon. Man, listen, y'all call my little bacon. I just came to town. I love bacon. I'm salivating right now. Mm. Mm. Larry, you said you get that fried bacon? Yes, sir. Did you get the end of the pieces? We used to be able to get it in about uh, five pound boxes. It was uh, a little cut off pieces, and that was the best. Yeah, now they switched it down to four pounds. Hmm. Butt nuggets. 
Oh, okay. And I'll barbecue well, it. We can't even it. find the big box over here now. All we can do is get those plastic packs like everything else is in you. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're on like 375 gram bags now. Not like, you know, not like 500 grams or a pound. Pound you used to be able to get them in. Everybody's all um, health conscious and stuff now. Ava says on on, uh, on a barbecue and thick slices, it's awesome. Bacon is awesome no matter how you get it. And uh, but Almost I agree with you on barbecue with, with the bacon on it. Mm -hmm. My wife has stopped frying it on the stove. Now she she uh, puts it in a pan and and uh, lined with aluminum and, and cooks it in the oven. You no break a blade? Yeah, no, I no didn't more. break a blade. My uh, bottom blade holder. Oh hell! I was ready to grab my drink. My take a drink anyway. My, 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 my bottom <laughs> blade hold it let go. His blade slipped. His blade slipped. Let's drink the drink. My favorites are BLT minus the LP. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, that's my favorite. Yeah, I think we need to sit and take a trip over to Sweet and let it eat a cook more. What is going on? It's not Jeez. bacon, the salted version you have, Amy. What is it? Yeah, I like mine too. too, too, too. I don't like it all fatty. What I don't like is it cooks so crisp that it breaks the teeth trying to eat it. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than eating crispy bacon and having bleeding gums afterwards. Yeah, huh. <laughs> I've had some so crisp so crisp and rock hard I couldn't even get it to the dog. Oh look at me. What? You crazy? My dad used to say uh, he used to get crispy bacon in the restaurants and stuff. I'm like, why do you eat like that? It's gross. He goes, oh, they, they cook all the cholesterol out of it, so it's healthy for you. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> goes, hey, you, you believe what you believe. I don't know. I agree with you, Eddie. You got that right. Golden crisp. Not, not black and burnt. Well, guys, for some reason, the mustache is trying to yeah. slow down, so I guess I'm going to call it a night. Okay, Larry. All right, Larry. Take care, Larry. Have a good night. Y'all, too. Prayers, everyone. Dennis is still in the chat. He's just been awful quiet. <laughs> Dennis Boy, never left. Wanna... I'm just wondering, but he's off quiet. Dennis, I, I'll send you a link, but you got to find it to show more than just your face from the nose up. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of an old cartoon I once saw. He took his head up above the table, but all you can see is his nose. <laughs> well, it's no, it's, it's no worse than looking at her from his, his, his forehead up. I know. That, that's what they're thing. talking about. Same thing. <laughs> okay, I don't want to, I don't want y'all to get jealous of all of this courteousness. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't want to take Russ's eye candy job I'm away from him. Trying to take my take my job, man. I, you know, I was here first. <laughs> Hope you get to feeling better, Dennis. Yeah, Russ, that's on the link. Kill you, man. Nah, he's not feeling too good tonight, so we're going we're gonna to let him off the hook. He said send it. Well, that was afterwards, okay? I'm not feeling I don't want to see him. If I Senator. see him and, and he don't look like he feels good, I'm going to take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Unsend, unsend. <laughs> uh, that that that. Right. 
e e even if Ava has a camera she wants on. Can I come back on, Russ? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hide all this gorgeousness. Oh, Ava, there's nothing wrong with your spelling. We've, we've seen worse in here. Right, Dennis? <laughs> I know I'm friends with him. No, oh, I can send him one. Okay. Now y'all can save me. Save me all your money. <laughs> I thought I was. Yeah, got to wear this in the doctor's office. Oh, no, you ain't got to have a regular mask on. <laughs> Butt nuggets. <laughs> Where have I heard that term before? That's the wrong show. <laughs> oh. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Canadian Nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cam, don't want to be on. That's all right. Can you see me now? Here, can you see it? Well, Ava said she has a camera, but she don't want to be on. That's a shame. Shy. He is shy. Me too, Ava. That's all right. I know she is, is, is protecting us. She had the on here would be a hoot. She's hilarious to talk to. <laughs> I'm here, Russ. All right. How well, did you do He gave it to us from the from the chin up. Yep, I did. <laughs> I was going to say he's a master of the camera because he looks so tall. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how uh, uh, Tom Cruise gets his movie shot because he's so short, right? So they, 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 yeah. They, they do a down angle on him like that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if they did the down angle, they'd have to use the wide lens. I couldn't yeah. fit in a, a regular lens. <laughs> Dennis, I was saying you're more like you're 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 comparing yourself to Tom Cruise because of the eight camera angle. Come on. To pump you up, God, I was giving you I was giving you a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not totally with the tonight. <clears throat> my um my grandson had a little bit of a cold and I guess I got it. Hey Steve, how you doing? Hello, the cat and the fish crafting. What was that, Dennis? Oh, I, I'm just saying hi back to right. people who were saying hi to me. What's all happening, guys? You more work on your video today, or what? I did a little bit. I had some stuff that I had uh, filmed, and so I started to edit it and get it into the, the video. I've got um, one more little piece to cut out of the, the project, and then I need to do an intro and an exit and a, and a thumbnail, and then I'll get it up. Hopefully I'll get it up tomorrow. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Okay, Eva, appreciate that. So yeah, it just depends how I feel tomorrow. Depends how I feel tomorrow if I get out to my my little work area and finish cutting it. Should only take about five minutes to finish cutting it. Hey John, Ian, how you doing? Well, how come Charles is not on? Uh, I don't know. He's probably still sleeping. I've talked to him today. Maybe Karen finally convinced him to play video games with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he even thinks your your squirrel saw runs on air pressure. 
dog. What's that? Because it's so powerful and loud. Do you think she's running off an air compressor? I wish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who, said, uh, who was it that said last night? It, it, they said my... Oh, was Steve Combs that said last night? He he he, he, he says my, my, my scroll cell sounds like it's a hammy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was him. Hey, Herb, your lips are moving, but I'm not doing anything. Kind of sounds like my old Harley Davidson. Kind of, doesn't it? <laughs> Is it really that loud? Yeah, it's kind of loud. Like it, it doesn't sound loud to me though. Well, you, you got your you got your headphones on there. And well, yeah. Everything. But, but I'm behind my magnifying glass. This is that baffled. Well, sound. I give up. Don't do that, Herb. Don't, Don't give do up, that, Herb. Herb. Don't give up, Herb. Don't do you it. You can do Don't it. You, you can it. do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, I was trying to cast it up to the TV uh, to see the chat. If I tilt the screen forward, you only get that part of my face. That's how I can see the chat. Uh -huh. Well, my chat's on the side of it, not not below it. Yeah, mine's on the yeah. side too. Yeah, but my eyesight's so screwy. Hmm. Yeah, mine's on the side too, but. I'm using a webcam and I'm having a hard time getting it positioned just right so that you can see my lovely face. <laughs> Ava says it's uh, so loud it echoes all the way over there across the pond to where she's at. <laughs> it's like the, butter, the butterfly effect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she says she has to go shower now and go live. What? Yeah, she has to go shower. Well, see, now you need a camera. That's, that's what I'm telling you. Well, I'm talking about video or it didn't happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> I ain't got all the clothes for that one, did you? Hot dog, hot dog. I can't see nothing. Here. <laughs> easy, Herb. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> you don't want a heart attack. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> If you're not careful, I'm going to go from the, the eyes up. That'll all you, be all you get. <laughs> well, Ava, hey, no. if, if you're leaving, we'll uh, thank you for subscribing and hanging out and having a fun time with us all. Yeah. And, uh, if you want, nice to meet you. It was to nice to meet whenever you. Whenever you want, because we're always on sometimes. <laughs> She's not taking a camera with her to shower. You don't want to see that. Yes, 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 he does. <laughs> well, take care. And I'll see you somewhere across the pond tomorrow. Somewhere down the road. Tomorrow. Somewhere in those interwebs. Who's doing a live tomorrow over there? Saturday, Saturday. Who's doing one? She says a long time ago it would have been interesting to watch. <laughs> well, not now. <laughs> not so much now. <laughs> well, Ava, in case, in case I miss you leaving later, thank you for joining us. <laughs> she says she doesn't know if she's leaving yet. I know, I'm just saying. Oh. Miss it later. You know, busy scroll saw and all. That she's not picture pretty. If you're funny enough, I might stay. Hey, <laughs> this face ought to make anybody laugh. <laughs> it does my mother every time she looks at me. She says, ah, I gave birth to that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to turn around and look at somebody in the house. They start laughing. <laughs>
Oh, oh John. God, John ain't single. <laughs> what? Well, well, hello, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Ava. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happily, happily married. So, sorry about that. <laughs> Actually, we we don't know a lot of single single scrollers, do we? Mm -mm. Well, Wes, but uh, uh, Wes is uh, he's so yeah. plucked now he don't know what to do. Yeah, we know that's the one, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> there <you> go, Steve. <laughs> God dang it! Oh, dog. Oh, With ketchup. With ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> you made me look, man. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. That's the duck behind you. <laughs> oh, actually in front of you. He just says there's not a single woodworker I found yet. <laughs> So, uh, Ava, where'd that question come from, anyway, just out of curiosity? <laughs> do, do, do I come across like I'm single? I don't know. grandson he got a couple shots today and he's not a happy boy I heard children uh, in the back. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> what is Ava saying? There's not many girls my, around. Mine, this are, my, mine are done grown, married, and off on their own little world with the grandkids. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Ava. This is on that heavy searching. So that that. Doesn't even have any kids. My God, there's a bunch of guys looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not looking for a hubby, and you don't even have any kids. You know, 20 years, uh, 14 years ago. <laughs> yes, John. What happened 14 years ago? <laughs> 14 years ago, back when I was single. Just it doesn't seem the point of getting married uh, to start with. There's quite a few that think like that nowadays. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, let the grandkids come over. I'll feed them full of sugar and send them right back home. That's what I do. I oh, see. I can't do that. I got two of my grandkids here living with me, so I'll feed them with Dynacap so they go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Just kidding. You know, the, the, there's a reason they make NyQuil and Dayquil, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> yep. It's a shame they don't put enough uh, NyQuil in the package. They put more Dayquil. I gotta mute myself for a second. Okay. Oh, <laughs> That's good, Ava. That's good. <laughs> That's something I'm not understanding, John. What? You, uh, your, your, uh, name down there, what if I could, shows the, uh, microphone, uh, X'd off. Like it's muted. Yeah, because my, my, my tablet is muted. I was wondering why I kept hearing the doggone sound of that saw and you're talking, but the camera was muted. Because it's my tablet. My, my tablet. Ah. See, because it, 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 if I mean my tablet. Okay. Yeah, you want to get a different sound? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. See, here yeah. you go. Hello, yeah, hello, 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 I don't know why I was thinking that uh, if it's muted, why am I still hearing it? It's magic. Magic. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. That's good. <laughs> we must have all read it at the same time. I we must have. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> Way to go, Eva. Love that one. Yes, sir. She fits right in this group. Yes, yeah. I, I, I appreciate man. you guys not reading it, but just laughing at it. That's awesome. <laughs> Why do you want to hear it? Do you want to be? <laughs> well, John, you have a nice voice, but not that nice. Oh, I know. I read it, Herb. Thanks. <laughs> we just wanted to make sure you knew what it said. <laughs> yeah, that is good. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. You came in at the right time, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. How are you well, doing? Yes, John is so happily married. <laughs> Checking up on your husband? <laughs> Ava McCary, my loving wife. Carrie, <laughs> <laughs> the guys are making fun of me. Oh no, don't start. He that. started it. He started it. He <laughs> let us in. He started yeah, I was it. Singing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do, Ava. Oh boy. There's the thing for her, baby. 
Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Keep your day job, John. <laughs> you guys. I can always do it. Go ahead. <laughs> that wouldn't help. No, it wouldn't. Mom. I still do it. Come on, man. This is better than, be, than, than singing on Charles' show. <laughs> Wasting the days and wasting the nights. Yep, Carrie is his wife. Look, I'm working on the grandkids' sons. <laughs> <laughs> so he says. You're gonna get me in trouble, Dennis. <laughs> well, Carrie says if 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 you ask to admit it, that yeah, you are her husband. <laughs> but if she could get away with it, she wouldn't admit it. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. John? John who? I don't know. No, John. John who? John who? Jesus says, come on, John, sing for your wife. Sweet <laughs> Carrie of mine. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> That's the best actual rules I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, on uh, on uh, ro road trips, you just hear me, me and Carrie going down the road. Neil Diamond flaring or me. Oh, Lowe, God, yes. Right? Just that full blast and just yelling our voices out. And, yeah, I'm uh, the same way. My wife, I tell her, sing it if you know it. <laughs> My wife cannot sing. That's one thing she cannot do. Well, see, the thing is, it's just, sound like he gets bunker. We we, Bad. we we sing the songs, but I, I always change the words. But like <laughs> a song will come on the radio, and Carrie will be singing it because it's some song she likes, and I'll change the words and totally screw her up on it. She's like, <laughs> oh, well, you ruined that one for me now. <laughs> I'll be right back, fellas. I gotta go get a shot. All right, man. Hurry up. You will get them in the mail. So, uh, uh, Russ, when you, when you were doing uh, Christmas deliveries, mm -hmm. what was the latest mail date to get stuff out for Christmas? Oh, it was it varied every year. I think mid December. Something like that. Yeah, we're talking Canada Post, though. Well, see, that's, that's the difference there. I got a question for everybody. What do you guys think of multiple part videos on doing something? I love them. That's a good idea. <laughs> no, really, serious. Because, because I'm not kidding. I, if it's an interesting uh, project, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Well, I'm going to start working on one of Charles's patterns. It's a uh, uh, parrot. And of course, it's it's quite detailed, mm -hmm. and I see it being at least two, maybe three parts, you know, on a video scroll sawing. I mean, is that you consider that interesting enough, or do you would you get bored with something like that? The most of my videos they run been running eight to eleven minutes. The one the one I did with Chewy was a little bit longer, but. Um, but I'm just curious with how that would work if if you think it would go good. Well, see, it depends on 
what you have as background music or mm -hmm. whether you're doing a full a full audio overlay on it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what do you call that? Um, dubbing. Dubbing, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, um, or it, if you're going to stop your video and, 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 and come on, do a little more intro. Oh, oh so, so this is what I've been working on. This is how many cuts I've done so far. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. This is how much more I, I plan on doing. Blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. about, about halfway through. That would make it more interesting as well. And then... Mm -hmm. um, Shirt changes uh, would make it interesting. Yeah, shirt changes, of course. Um, uh, <laughs> Dennis in a shirt changes, of course. And then, uh, uh, oh, do a live shirt change. That would be that. That would be the best. You know, <laughs> the bat. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. That might scare more people off. <laughs> but like, uh, um, to say, you know, like. I, I, I took on this project because I want you know like tell them why you want to do the project um why you're interested in the project wh why you want to attempt it why you'd like Charles's designs I guess right mm -hmm. like you could do a multi part like that um as an intro and an end to it because I know at the end of your videos you're always like well thank you guys for staying to the end of the video and blah 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 and everything right. else and, and and then you always say something else thereafter that it, if you don't watch the whole video you don't catch it right. Mm -hmm. uh, that I find, and then um, <laughs> as an intro to your next one, you could do it like that, right? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, like you, you could do a live feed. Uh, multi parts are nice though, but uh, I would throw more in there, there than just just you scrolling. There is a lot of work involved. Yeah, in, in yeah. doing something to that effect. It's, uh, that's what it sounds like I'm hearing from John. There's a yeah. lot more to it. Uh, a lot more uh, talking, setting mm -hmm. up, uh, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, and mm -hmm. uh, you know th those those kinds of things tend to be more for the lives instead of than video. just a video, right? Right. Yeah. So well, see, I, I've, you can try it. I've done one or two two parters. One was where I showed uh, putting the pattern on to the on the mm -hmm. wood, you know that type thing. And then the other part was actually doing, uh, doing the, the scroll sawing. Mm -hmm. And then one I did on a, um, a little tugboat that I did, and I showed how I made a pattern for the tugboat because I wanted to do multiple tugboats mm -hmm. on part one. And then part two, I came in and I actually made the tugboat. Yeah. And I find, I find that the, the, the viewers were totally different on the second one versus the first one yeah you know there wasn't quite as many on the second as there were in the first so, the same books or different people i don't know i don't know how to tell if they're the same folks or different people uh, uh just a suggestion of what i've seen and what i've heard people say yeah is to try to keep your your videos no longer than 10 minutes Right, because right. People will lose interest in it and unless they're really engrossed in it. Right. Mm -hmm. They will and lose interest there, after that long. Yeah, and sit there and watch somebody scroll along for thirty minutes. That's yeah. It's it's it. That's why that's why we do the lives mm -hmm. because you know you can get in, you can you can get done what you need, but you can also break it up, chit chatting like we're doing and having a panel, having a having the chat. Mm -hmm. You know, makes it makes it a lot easier to sit for longer periods of time, right? And, right. and uh, but the, those are more geared to me. They're more geared toward toward the lives. Yeah, and see, stuff. Because, because, because you can do them. Because we've we've been on for two and a half hours now. Yeah. Dennis, are, you, are you bored, Dennis? No, not really. I've been enjoying. <laughs> <See? you know? laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, and 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 that's why I asked this question because I'm I'm new at this, and so I know this particular pattern is going to take a long time and mm -hmm. you know but yet i want to do it as a video mm -hmm. but i'm not i have to do a lot more to get set up to do a live like we're doing here mm -hmm. I, I i have to get some some other equipment out there and so on and so forth so that's why i'm asking what do you guys think you're more experienced at this than i am yeah i i can see you doing it uh, mm -hmm. but like I said, it, it do the you know with the with the amount of work that's going to be involved with intros and outros and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. When you do your outro, you basically, you know, your intro tells them what you're going to do. It's like a speech. It tells right. them what you're going to do, 
Mm -hmm. And then your out goes tells them what you did. Right. And stuff. But you're, you're not really going to have an ending until the two or three videos down the road. Down the road. And right. So it's like you're going to try to keep people's interest mm -hmm. in, it, in that project. So there's, there's more of your personality going to have to come out to right. keep people's interest, I think. Right. Right. Okay. And it's a lot more work. Yeah. Okay. But uh, if you're willing to go that, then why not? Make it happen. Yeah. 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 Uh, like I said, I think the longest video I did was my Chewy, and it's it's about 15 minutes. You know, other than that, I'm I'm running usually eight to 12 minutes somewhere yeah. in that neighborhood. You know, well, that's what most people that I've talked to uh, have said that uh, if you can keep them in the eight minute and range, great. Mm -hmm. Because you know, people do start to tend to lose interest if they if they go overly long, they they just flip to something else. You right. Get a view, but you know they don't you don't keep their interest well one of the other things i've i've learned too from <laughs> don't don't hit, hate me for this but i i do watch some of the uh wood turners and mm -hmm. you know one of the things that they mention is <laughs> they don't show the whole process you know right, right. Uh, and um and so i've been kind of looking at that because on some of the cuts on on scroll sawing they're just in and out real quick they're not very big cuts you know mm -hmm. not really shown any technique any style any you know any of that stuff so i tend to not put those in as much as i do the bigger cuts you know type situation and maybe i ought to change it around do the little cuts real quick and <laughs> not show the bit. i don't know you know i'm just i'm just experimenting to see what happens you know well in in your uh association of friends and and people that you know mm -hmm. that, that are interested in scroll sign mm -hmm. or a project that you might make mm -hmm. do you think that uh they would be interested to the point of from a beginner standpoint if they don't know how then then you have to cater towards what their level is and you if you have you want to be a uh a teaching Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. video then there's mm -hmm. more to it right than that right. if you are if you're going to have to show them from step one step two step three how to do how to put the pattern on how to make the uh pilot holes mm -hmm. you know how, how to do it all straight cuts curved cuts flat blades spirals mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then 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 you're you're getting into a whole series of of uh videos that can be done right i'm not stuff. sure I'm not sure that I'm to the level of being a teacher as of yet. Okay, um, well, that, that was kind of what I was hearing. Never yeah, I, I, um, I'm still, I'm not as proficient. I'm a slow scroll solid. You know, I'm not like uh, Charles, where and and I and I'm not the type of person where I'm not to that point yet where I can talk and scroll saw at the same time. Like you know, I can't do two things at once. <laughs> you know, but. Um, so I, you know, yeah, I got a long way to go is what I'm saying, you know. Well, um, it's a, it'd be a learning, learning experience for, for all concerned then. For yeah, yourself. it would be. Well. Yeah. All right. Good info. The, Good info. The thing is, the thing is, you got to start somewhere, but it just, yeah. just take the plunge, just take the plunge, see what happens, and, you know. That's, yeah, that's true. Tweak well, it's like that. my, it's like my first video. I, I didn't want to put it up i didn't want to do it i didn't but i wanted to do it the problem was i kept looking at my workspace going man this is a mess they don't want to see this mess they don't want you know that type of thing and finally i said back with it and i and i put my first one up which is less than a minute but you know hey it's up you know yes. so. my mess <laughs> <laughs> well that's not bad as mine <laughs> <laughs> you are mine Mine looks worse because it's just a little corner. <laughs> See my floor? That, that's like mine. That is just like mine. <laughs> mine this too. Under, this, this is underneath my scroll saw, Dave. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I keep saying I'll get to it soon, but uh, I still got sawdust all over my floor. You know, that CNC puts a lot of sawdust out. Yeah, yeah. And then next to it is my scroll saw, and that puts a little bit of sawdust out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, my... my 
I, I put it to you this way. I, I took out uh, three five-gallon buckets of paint that were just in the way from my walk path. I can almost walk through there now <laughs> to get to the saw. You know, it just, yeah. it, my shop is messy. Well, if you aim your camera right where you're at, they don't see all the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good uh, Good advice. I'll see what I can do with that one. You know? Leonard Davis says, this is a scary crew. Well, what do you mean by that, boy? <laughs> yeah. I'm it's the only scary, scary, scary one here. Get, in, get input from the fellow scrollers. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, John, this was intended towards you. So your wife needs room to put the snowblower in there, but there ain't any room. You know, I was just going to say that because she was bitching at me the other day. <laughs> there's, there's no room in your shop for my snowblower. I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. No. You know, my, my wife, she finally wore me down. She, she's she been wanting one. You remember those old style push mowers that she pushed? Oh, you know? God, yes. You know, and they work the heck out of you, you know, trying to go through the lawn. She's, for months, I want one of those mowers so I can go out and mow. I want one. Honey, it's just going to be too hard to do. No, I want one of those mowers. You know, and we went round and round. Finally, I had enough and said, fine, let's go. And we went down to the, we've got a uh, mower repair shop down below us and went down there and bought it one. <laughs> I'll be darned. She's out there. When it's nice, she's out there pushing that mower, you know. Wow. Oh yeah, I'm surprised. I can't. I cannot see. Uh, no, my, my, my sister, her her husband at the time had to have one of those, so they finally found one, mm -hmm. and, it, and he had to have it. Right. And he got out there a couple of times with it. They put it up on sale. <laughs> it wore him out, man. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, when she comes in, she, oh no. When she, when she comes in, she is just dripping with, with sweat, you know, but okay, you know, happy wife, happy wife. <laughs> oh, God. That's right. <laughs> well, the first thing tomorrow, I'm cleaning a spot over there. You don't want to be shop. shoveling. <laughs> <laughs> for, for you don't want to be shoveling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ava said that if she only needs a square meter, there's enough room in the shop as it is. So <laughs> you gave us the view, you know. <laughs> the, the, the problem is getting in the door, though. Yeah, yeah that's that's where I'm stuck. That's my problem right there. Yeah. Well, we're going to be moving. Surely, I'm taking stuff out. Yeah, we're going to be moving the first year, and hopefully, I'll get a little bigger space to set up a little bit more of the shop. You know. Well, I'll tell you, if your wife's like mine, uh, it won't be enough space because if she sees more space, she's filling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there goes my room. There goes your room. <laughs> That's how I, I lost one shop. That's why I built the other. Yeah, I even thought about buying a shed and putting it out somewhere, you know. <laughs> oh, believe me, you'll find a place to store stuff in it. Oh, Not man. if she doesn't have the key to the door. <laughs> yeah, the house we had... I told her I want the garage and one bedroom. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a half a garage, half a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, in, I'm in a bedroom here, and it's just, yeah, it's more store than anything else. But that's okay. I got a bed to put my head on. <laughs> yeah. So. I heard you should have gone with bigger dreams to begin with. And be like, oh, you know what? I want three bedrooms. Uh, oh, yeah. Me. You could, you, could have, you could have haggled down, see? <laughs> see with, with the deal, we yeah. had a three-bedroom house, and I told her I wanted a bedroom for an office. Okay, that was fine. And uh, half the garage, you know, I wanted the whole garage with all my woodworking and painting equipment in there. Come home Didn't one happen. day, shift moved on one side to go in there. There's another desk, another computer, and I'm looking like, what in the hell? Hey, good night, Leonard. <laughs> Good night, Leonard. <laughs> Good night, Leonard. Thanks for taking this day taking out. Drop by. My my wife, she loves to move, move the furniture around the house, so I never know what it's going to be like. You know, when I was working, I never knew what it was going to be like when I came home, so I had to watch because I'd come home in the dark, you know. Mm. You came know, my wife, my wife is so long. <laughs> I came home one day. I, I was gone for a little while. I had a job that I had to go to. Came home and 
the bathroom was painted bright, the brightest bright you could ever find yellow and pink. Hmm. <laughs> I, uh. told her, I told her, I told her, I'm turn the light on here. <laughs> I know. I had a customer one time. They painted her master bedroom cantaloupe orange. That oh, was wow. the brightest orange. Wow. Husband come home. He said, "No, you change that." And uh, she looked at both of us. She goes, "Y'all touch any of that paint that he just put on there? I'm shooting both of you." <laughs> well, uh, do my check, and I'm gone. Hey, Jason. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Good night, Hi, Jason. Jason. Hey, Jason. But some people pick the weirdest colors for stuff. Well, I guess my wife was feeling kind of down because I, I had to go take care of my parents and uh, I was gone for a couple weeks. And so to make her happy, she decided to paint the bathroom those colors. Yeah, once they get an idea in their mind, it takes an act of Congress, three governors, and a president, and they still ain't changing their mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like... Uh... What was it? Two two years ago, Carrie's like, "Oh, well, well, let's renovate the the downstairs, uh, the the basement bathroom." I'm like, "Sure, whatever." And so then she comes out. She asks for a hammer and a saw. I'm like, "Why?" She goes, "Oh, I just started pulling stuff apart." I'm like, <laughs> "So two two years later, it's still not done. The, the, like like it, everything got ripped out. It's the bare floor, bare walls." So now I gotta, you know, fix it now. Because when the, the mother in law was here, you know, we were downstairs in the basement, so we gave her the upstairs the bedroom. And, you know, I had to go upstairs every time I wanted to use the bathroom. <laughs> so now I gotta fix it for sure this time. Yeah. For, yeah. for when she visits in the spring, right? That'd be mighty nice of you to get that done. <laughs> yeah, for myself, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't wait to play the cookies. <laughs> Hmm. My wife, she decided one night when I was working a, a graveyard shift, and it was about Christmas time, she decided that uh, she wanted to pull the wallpaper off in, in the kitchen we had bought our first house we had bought. And so she decided she was going to pull that off. And so she pulled a little section off in one corner of the kitchen and, well, that looks pretty good. And walked over to the other side of the room, pulled a little bit more off. So, oh, wow, well, that doesn't look too bad. And, Walked to the other side of the room and pulled off this piece of wallpaper, and here's this huge hole. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, which we didn't know was there. I come home, and she says, uh, Honey, I, I, I got a problem. I walked into the kitchen and looked at it and said, Yeah, we do have a problem, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> can't afford to fix it, so it's going to stay out. <laughs> and we couldn't afford it at the time, you know. And so it's going to stay that way. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yeah. Then, of course, my father, he was in a wheelchair from polio. And um, I never knew him to walk, which was fine. We, as kids, we went fishing, we went camping, we, you know, we did it all. Now, I got a kick out of him because he would always say, we fixed it. He didn't have a damn thing to do with it, but we fixed it, right? So, um, one day I was home and we had a fireplace and they wanted some wood split. So I went out to the yard and I started splitting wood and we used, we had this little thingamajig that would hold the log and you could, you know, hit the, the, uh, anvil in or the splitter in. So I'm going along splitting wood and all of a sudden this thing starts to tilt a little bit. And I'm, okay, no problem. So I set it back up, hit a couple more times and it tilts some more thinking what the heck's going on you know so i pick this thing up and move it over and here's this six inch diameter hole we had a septic tank right and we didn't know where it was well i found the septic tank because i knocked the <laughs> hole in the lid right <laughs> so i go into the house and i said i found the septic tank i know where it's at and my dad goes yeah really and i said honest dad i know where it's at so come on mom i'll show you where it's at so mom came out Dummy me, 19 year old dummo. I walk right over the top of the hole and I go, It's right there. I no more got there out. And I went, Whoosh! Down <laughs> into that tank. <laughs> I went down three times, guys. Three times. I thought I was going to in my own 
Oh, pull, pull myself out of the, I never I never cussed in front of my mom, right? Pulled myself out of that, that thing. I stood up and I said, Elf. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom looks at me and she goes, Dude, it is. Dude, it is. Oh, man. And so, to finish the story with Dad fixing everything, right? So I stayed home from work the next day, dug off the cover of it, and they'd only put like about a half to three quarters of an inch of cement over the top of the tank. And it was an open tank. That was the lid. There was no rebarb in it. There was nothing, right? Hmm. Clean this thing off. We looked at it. So, okay. So then we, we had the tank pumped, and um, we, we uh, made a form. And we poured a good six inches of concrete with a hole, you know, with the pipe in it, so you could you could suck it out if you needed to. It's the only time in my life that I ever heard my dad say, "Dennis fell in the septic tank, but we fixed it." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was a smelly experience. Wow. Yeah. Good night, Carrie. Yeah, night, Carrie. Good night. Yeah, she's probably going to cook me something. Bacon! Cookies! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Nine, fifty-five. Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock, man. You've been going for quite a while. Yeah, almost two and a half. Almost hours. three hours. Two hours and two 41 hours, minutes. minutes, yeah. Yeah, I well, got, look at all uh, the fun we're having. Some stuff, hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only eight o'clock here. Wow. <clears throat> well, I gotta, I, I, I have to turn my furnace back on. You guys starting to get a little chilly in here. All right, do what you gotta do. So I'll turn my furnace on, and uh, if there's nobody else on tonight, later I'll. Uh... Carrie's kitchen's closed. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about order. that. No bacon, buddy. Oh, order pizza. <laughs> uh, well, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. No, I'll, I'll I'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll start early and uh, I'll be on. You guys want in? Join in? Whatever. And okay. uh, thank everybody for hanging out, chatting with us, asking questions and stuff. And we'll uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks, John. All right. All right. Take care, John. Good night, Good night Thanks everybody. everybody. Thanks for being the chat for, for hanging out with us too as well. See you later, Eve.